If you go on the TED website, you can currently find there over a full week of TED Talk videos, over 1.3 million words of transcripts and millions of user ratings. And that's a huge amount of data. And it got me wondering, if you took all this data and put it through statistical analysis, <laughs> could you reverse engineer a TED Talk? Could you create the ultimate TED Talk? And <laughs> Also, could you create the worst possible TED Talk that they would still let you get away with? <laughs> to find this out, I looked at three things. I looked at the topic that you should choose, I looked at how you should deliver it, and the visuals on stage. Now, with the topic, there's a whole range of uh, topics you can choose, but you should choose wisely, because your topic strongly correlates with how users will react to your talk. Now, to make this more concrete, let's look at the list of top 10 words that statistically stick out in the most favorite TED Talks and in the least favorite TED Talks. So if you came here to talk about how French coffee will spread happiness in our brains, that's a go. Whereas if you wanted to talk about your project involving oxygen, girls, aircraft, um, actually I would like to hear that talk, but <laughs> statistics say it's not so good. Um, oh well, if you generalize this, um, the most favorite TED Talks are those uh, that feature topics we can connect with both easily and deeply, such as happiness, our own body, food, emotions, and the more technical uh, topics such as architecture, materials, and strangely enough, men, those are not good topics to talk about. <laughs> How should you deliver your talk? Um, Ted is famous for keeping a very sharp eye on the clock, so they're going to hate me for revealing this because actually you should talk as long as they will let you because the <laughs> most favorite TED Talks are on average over 50% longer than the least favorite ones. And this holds true for all ranking lists on TED.com, except if you want to have a talk that's beautiful, inspiring, or funny, then you should be brief. But other than that, <laughs> talk until they drag you off the stage. <laughs> now, while... <laughs> While you're pushing the clock, there's a few rules to obey. I found these rules out by comparing the statistics of four word phrases that appear more often in the most favorite TED Talks as opposed to the least favorite TED Talks. I'll give you three examples. First of all, I must, as a speaker, provide a service to the audience and talk about what I will give you instead of saying what I can't have. Secondly, it's imperative that you do not cite the New York Times. <laughs> and. Finally, it's okay for the speaker, that's a good news, to fake intellectual capacity. If I don't understand something, I can just say etc., etc. You'll all stay with me. It's perfectly fine. Now, let's go to the visuals. The most obvious visual thing on stage is the speaker, and analysis shows if you want to be among the most favorite TED speakers, you should let your hair grow a little bit longer than average. Make sure you wear your glasses and be slightly more dressed up than the average TED speaker. <laughs> Slides are okay, though you might consider going for props. And now the most important thing, that is the mood on stage. Color plays a very important role. Color closely correlates with the ratings that talks get on the website. For example, fascinating talks contain a statistically high amount of exactly this blue color, much more than the average TED talk. Ingenious TED Talks, much more of this green color, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <laughs> now, personally, I think I'm not the first one who has done this analysis, but I'll leave this to your um, good judgment. So now it's time to put it all together and design the ultimate TED Talk. Now, since this is TED Active, and I learned from my analysis that I should actually give you something, I will not impose the ultimate or worst TED Talk on you, but rather give you a tool to create your own. And I call this tool the TED Pad. And the, 
the TED pad is a matrix of 100 specifically selected, highly curated sentences that you can easily piece together to get your own TED talk. Um, you only have to make one decision, and that is, are you going to use the white version for very good TED Talks about creativity, human genius, or are you going to go with a black version, which will allow you to create really bad TED Talks, mostly about blogs, politics, and stuff. So <laughs> download it and have fun with it. Now, I hope you enjoy the session. I hope you enjoy designing your own ultimate and worst possible TED Talks, and I hope some of you will be inspired for next year to create this, which I really want to see. Thank you very much. Investment in broadband high-speed internet can help small businesses create new American jobs. Small businesses are being formed, dreams are being launched, and at AT&T, we're investing billions to upgrade and build out our wired and wireless networks. Now is not the time to stall momentum or stifle innovation or investment. Jobs, dreams, and the future are at stake. AT&T, your world delivered.